È sabato 28 maggio 2022 e oggi c'è il matrimonio di Becca e Adam all'agriturismo La Torre, vicino ai bagni di Lucca. Congratulazioni alla coppia felice. Il tempo è ottimo, con un massimo di 32 gradi. As a tradition, I'm now going to say a few words about the bride. Where do I start? I'm going to start by saying, Becca, you look absolutely stunning today. And now I'm going to take you back 25 years when you were a wee raj. Back then, Becca loved to be minging. She wasn't happier. The minginger she was, the happier she was. Right? I don't think minginger is a word, but it is now. It was a struggle to get her to wash her hands and face, far less get her in a bath. I slid into Becca's DMs. But what they didn't say is I did it about six years before that. <laughs> Probably after dusk. It was 2011, I think. It was like, hey, Becca. Uh, half 12 or whatever. Two, two minutes later, hey, Adam. Then I shat myself for six years. And I got the courage. I got the courage. And obviously, message units what to what to do. <laughs> and family. Welcome and thank you for being here on this very important day. We are gathered here today in the beautiful Toscan Hills to celebrate the union of Adam and Rebecca. Adam and Rebecca recognize that today is not only a celebration of their own love, but also a celebration of their parents who have raised them and showed them what married life can be. And with luck, all your hopes and dreams can be real. May success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is a day it all starts. This ring I give you is a symbol of my love. Is a symbol of my love. I pledge to share with you my heart. I pledge to share with you my heart. My home and all my worldly goods. My home and all my worldly goods. Rebecca, as you place the ring on Adam's finger, please repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you is a symbol of my love. It's a symbol of my love. I pledge to share with you my heart. I pledge to share with you my heart. My home and all my worldly goods. My home and all my worldly goods. <laughs> This is a serious bit, um, but love them. Good pals now, so um, <clears throat> sorry, get emotional. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass you on to our brother Stephen. He's also just as chuffed. He's prepared a wee poem, so I'll pass you on to him, and he'll take it for you. To make it clear, no poem. <laughs> So one night, my mum was unfortunately awoken at four o'clock in the morning by a knock at the door. And now if anyone here is a mother, if you know that your child's out on a night out and it's anything in the early morning, if there's a, someone knocking at your door, what does your mind immediately go to? You think something's gone wrong. She marches downstairs expecting it to be the police or anything like that. What's happened to Adam? What's gone wrong? But no. It's the poor wee boy trying to deliver his pizza they had ordered while he was still on the full bar dance floor. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, he was sprinting home, but he just wasn't quick enough. Very early on, after the messages had been put back and forth, we thought, right, we're going for it. <laughs> we're out, we're drinking, we'll see what happens. Little kissing session. Public. <laughs> Lot of smooching going on. In public? It's getting saucy. 
a hand comes out. No, no. Stevie, please. <laughs> up the t-shirt, on the stomach, onto the chest. Mm -hmm. At this point, I should, probably should tell you, this is Becca's hand, Adam's stomach. <laughs> Other way about grossly inappropriate.